Hello everybody, uh, today I am going to do a little show and tell lookbook, if you will, of some things I have, some colognes and some bottles of things that I have saved over the years. And I want to start out by saying I've got on a, a healing room a hoodie, a no drama llama. Yeah, I, she didn't spot the video or anything, but I just wanted to bring up this really cool hoodie that she bought me for a Christmas gift. So that was really super nice of her, and thank you very much. And I've got my uh, Indiana Jones hat. It's not like the indie hat anywhere it's in a movie, but it's like a baseball cap that I got at the Stunt Spectacular in Orlando. So, here we go. I'm going to start out with the most expensive item here. Well, I think it's about, it probably rivals some of the stuff. Probably is the most expensive stuff. So this is Tom Ford Black Orchid. Okay, it doesn't say on it, but it has like hints of orchid smell and, and like chocolate from Mexico. It is actually not a cologne, it is a unisex perfume for both men and women. Some people say it has more of a feminine smell. I don't know. I'm gonna put a little on my wrist. You could definitely sense the chocolate in there and the orchid. It, it's a definitely nice smell. So that's really nice. That bottle cost me about $160. I bought it with the Biden stimulus money from COVID, so I thought that was pretty cool. Okay, my next is a gift I got. I don't think it was anywhere as expensive as any other bottles of cologne I'm going to show you. This is called Mahogany Teakwood by Bath and Body Works. I think I just saw a hummingbird out my window. I am not sure, but I think I did, and they're very rare in this area in Florida. Anyway, uh, by Bath and Body Works, Mahogany and Teakwood. Okay. Um, let's see what this smells like. All of them are like backwards. I don't know why they're not also so backwards this time. Right, okay, I'm gonna put this on top of my hand. Kind of a nice smell. It, it's not as pungent as the other smell or, you know, but, and, oh, and just for reference, I heard that the best way to put on cologne is to dry up from the shower. I think this goes for men and women and you put three spurts or two spurts on your chest. And then you don't like rub it in, you basically, just let it dry on and it, you're going to get a better effect. Um, you're going to really wow your partner. So then this is Prada Carbon. I think this is my actual favorite Prada Carbon. This is a cologne. So we're going to put this on this hand here. Mm, I got a... Uh, A compliment, uh, not a compliment, but a woman taking my blood asked me what kind of cologne I had on, and I told her. So that usually means hint, hint. I like it. I want to buy it for my uh, partner. Okay. The next. Whoa, sorry there. Uh, the next one is going to be a Budweiser, kind of a commemorative NASA moon landing can for when they landed on the moon. I believe they landed on the moon in 1969. So that was in 19 when these came out. They have the Florida stuff all over it and a little dust on there as well. It's been sitting in my room for a while. Let's see, it's got like the shuttle space program and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. And I don't drink beer. That was my dad's. I don't drink beer and wine. I tasted it. Don't really care for it. The next one I'm going to show you is, and it doesn't come with the top. 
It doesn't come with the top, the fish top. That's just, I added that um, just for effect. So this is called Apollo Space Aged, Space Crafted Ale. So uh, if you read about it on the back, from another world, aged ale, but aged on very earthly oak. Big Bang Brewery, St. Paul, Minnesota. Mission Control, and then there's like a number for Mission Control. That might be the number for the for the beer. So that's pretty cool. And then let me show you this one because I like this wine better. I tasted it. I had a little glass of it, even though I don't like wine. I'm not supposed to drink it with some of the medications I'm on for my psych meds uh, because it can f up my kidneys and livers and stuff. So this is Skywalker Vineyard, Somita, Pinot Noir, Marin County. So they grow this little, the grapes on Lucas's ranch. So that's pretty cool. Got this at Hollywood Studios in Florida. Hollywood Studios in Florida. Red wine, like a, like a what do they call it, a Pinot Noir. Uh, that's really good stuff there. And then this one I didn't like as much. It was stronger and cheaper. This is just called Skywalker. Now, I was told that if you get the Skywalker brand wine, that it is actually Skywalker in Italian, but these ones don't have that for some reason. I'm not sure. Maybe they have a different label for the ones that they give out at Disney. I don't know. But this one they call just Skywalker Pinot Noir Rose. Or is it Rosé? Rosé. Pinot Noir, Pinot Noir Rosé. Marin County. So that is my collection that I want to show you today, people. And I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked what you saw. A little short video I'm doing here. So this will be my Saturday video, by the way. Um, don't expect another one for a while. My dog's sick today. I just want to let you guys know. She got bit and by like a, a, a hornet or something or something bit or a bug of some kind and she's breaking up into hives and her face is all swollen. She's not feeling too good. She's sleeping now. We gave her some Benadryl and my parents tried to take her to the animal hospital but it was a four hour wait. The tech said she looks fine. I want to take her home and <clears throat> my parents are saying if they have to they'll take her to her to our her vet um on monday so i don't think the vet's open tomorrow the hospital would be open but it would be another probably four hour wait or so and we just don't want to do that so unless we have to you know but for right now she seems okay she seems like she's doing good and she's just sleeping. I gave her the rest of my pizza crust. I had a cheesesteak, but I also had pizza on the side. So, Anyway, I, it's a bad weekend for eating. <laughs> it just is. It just is. Okay, uh, talk to you guys later. Uh, may the force be with you.